What's up Hexplainers, super excited to have you back as usual. Today we're going to have a look at something exciting. We're going to check out a static code analysis tool. And this is a software that basically finds vulnerabilities for you without you having to do anything. And the software we're going to check out is called ShiftLaft. I'm happy that this video is sponsored by the amazing team at ShiftLaft. We're going to have a look at their fantastic NaxGen static code analysis solution right now and find some balls. Here we go. Sweet, so here we go. If you want to use a static code analysis tool, you obviously need some sort of code base that you want to scan. And for today's video, I'm using ShiftLaft's Java demo. You can use obviously your code base that you actually want to search for vulnerabilities or any sort of open source code that you can find on the net. And the app looks like that. So there's basically not a lot going on, but instead of searching for vulnerabilities manually right now, we're going to rely on the static code analysis tool. So let's have a look at shift left's web interface. And we're seeing over here that it has a couple of ways to use it. You can scan either a public or private repository, or you can use the CLI tool. And this is what I've been doing for this video. So here's the explanation. I already went ahead and have set up the, the scan parameters for you. We're just running shift left application called SL. We're analyzing something in our case, a Java application. We're going to call that app hacks plane and it's located on the target slash hello shift left. So I'm going to hit enter. And what we are seeing right now is that there is a Java VM starting up, We're uploading data to a secure tenant na namespace. And then the entire process of analysis is starting. And this doesn't take long. So this is going to take a minute or two. So make sure to go for a nice cup of coffee or tea or whatever you prefer. And once you're back, you will have your analysis result. And here we go. The analysis is done. And now we just go back to the web UI of shift left. We're going to hit F5 to refresh the page. And we do see our app that we called hacks plane popping up right in here. And next up, we're going to check out what the tool has found. And we do see that there's a total of 101 vulnerabilities. 33 of them being critical, 29 moderate ones and 35 info ones. In this video, I want to dive a little more into XSS findings. So let's click on the XSS button down below here. They are nicely gathered together. We have 17 of them and we just have a look at the first one. HTTP data to HTML via the first name parameter in customercontrol.debug. And what we do see here is an extended description, but the exciting part is the data flow. And we do see that in line 298 of this file, there is basically the, the start of the entire vulnerability. So what I want to do right now is I want to go to the code. I've already opened up the right file in the right class for you. And we do see in that line that I've just mentioned that there is a path that we can reach, which is slash debug. And there's a couple of request par request parameters that can be set. And those are going to be included in the creation of a new customer object. All right. So let's just quickly check how it looks like. And I'm going over here and I do have that prepared for you. So this is basically the debug page that doesn't do more than listing all the data that I'm filling in, in the parameters. And shift left told me that there is a cross scripting vulnerability in the first name parameter. So let's try it out. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm saying, well, script, and I'm going to say alert. 
um, whatever hack explained and I am going to say close the script tag. So let's see if that works. And in that case, it doesn't. So apparently there is some sanitization already in place. So let's try something different. What if we put another script right after the first letter S? And I'm doing this over here as well. Hey, and look, this worked. So we found the access as vulnerability. And if we look in our developer tools, we can see that the script tag was successfully inserted. That's pretty cool. So the tool helped us to immediately spot an access as issue, and we could actually exploit that. Thank you guys for watching as always. I will see you again in the next episode where we see a little more how static code analysis works. And yeah, make sure to subscribe in the top right corner. Uh, we'll see you folks soon.